going to be reviewing um, for Foundation Digital Media Section 1, the Assignment 8 Phase 3, which is the identity phase where you're making the logo and the, um, uh, the, two, uh, the, the two typefaces that match the logo, and then the color family. Okay, so I'm gonna, going to be reviewing those. So here we go. Um, okay, so let me try to... Maybe I'll just enlarge this a little bit. Okay, so I think that logo is great. I think hand done's fine. That works. Um, so I would prefer to get a picture of this on. Um, I think it's hand. I think it's fine to hand do it. Honestly, I mean, if you're going to do it by hand, if you are going to actually do it on the computer in the end, then I'd probably rather see um, these done on the computer. But this this should work fine. Um, just so you know, we want to see this exact logo on each of the pieces. We don't want to see this drawn, you know, four or five, three or four times, um, or even ten times, depending on the assignment you pick, um, on the on the final product. So um, let me quickly show you how to do that. You want to take a picture of this. Um, and let me see if I can yeah 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 yeah. this is what I want okay so what I'm gonna do is oh so here's my picture right here nope <laughs> uh, here we go yeah but this I think this is the better one here okay so these are a few different hand-done logos. If you're going to do a hand-done logo, that's that's fine, but make sure you get a, a photo of it, bring it into Photoshop, and get it ready to um, to drop in your, your images so your logo doesn't change each time, if you know what I mean. So what I'm going to do is, here's my photo. I just emailed it to myself or airdropped it. I'm on a Mac, so I airdropped it. And um, I'm going to open this up in Photoshop. And you can see what I've done right here. Okay, so here we are. Um, then, um, so what I'm going to do is change my, uh, I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and down to Threshold. And this will, and we want to make this thing just black and white. So here's the Threshold window, and you can, um, make it completely black or drop everything out. So we want to, let's say we want to focus on, that doesn't, like this one down here. So I'm going to adjust this so I can, so it feels just about right and we don't get that this extra black creeping into it up here if I move it further down, see? So I'm going to leave that there. Click OK. I'm going to crop it. Um, so it's just that logo. And I'm getting, again, getting this ready to drop it in all of my pieces. So I'll hit enter to, so, so far so good. Um, now, now here, this kind of depends. I mean, if you want to use it in Illustrator, then you'll want to make a um, bitmapped TIFF. Let me make sure that this is in black so you can see it. Yeah, a bit mapped TIFF, and why why I'm suggesting that is because, and I'm not going to keep this on my logo, but just so you can see what I'm talking about, um, if I do this in Illustrator, then it can change colors. Um, so, and then if you're going to um, place this in Photoshop, then you'll want a uh, a dot PSD PSD. Now. One, one trick about this PSD is it's a native Photoshop file and you want to have no background on the back so so your um, logo can look pretty pretty nice and clean in there. So let me get rid of that type I just put in and I'm going to prepare this for Photoshop and to do that I'm going to unlock the background. I'm going to select, go to select and color range and then select the white and um, this is my color range. I think you may remember doing this, but I'm going to click OK and then delete it. 
So you can see um, I've deleted th this checkerboard means there are no pixels back there. There's no white, there's no black, there's no gray. It's just uh, no pixels. And this is, if I save this file, um, save as, if I save this as a, um, I'm going to put this on my desktop. I have a logo file. So if I save it as a PSD, so I'm going to call this NF um, Photoshop. So at the very top of at the very top of this list is Photoshop. And if I'm going to put this in, save it. Okay, that. Uh, okay, great. So now, um, if if I want to place it into an image. Open up. Let me just do a screen capture here. I'm gonna save it to clipboard. I'll go into Photoshop. New. Okay. Paste. Okay. Let's pretend like this is my gig poster. I'm going to do file place embedded, and I'm going to go grab that Photoshop file here. Place it in. You can see what's going on. I can see that background right through it, which is fantastic. So it depends on where I want the logo and what size and everything. But if I want it up here, and you can see it's right here, um, it's my placed, and that means this icon means it's a smart object. Obviously, I can't read it over that. But the great thing is, if I go to a, with that layer selected, if I go into Effects and choose Color Overlay, um, so here's my layer style, and I can pick different colors for this. So here's my color picker. So if I go red, or I can go sample a color out of my image by clicking on this, or I can just keep it white. Um, yeah, so that's that's the really cool thing about keeping this as a Photoshop file is that you get to um, colorize it. Now, I've also saved it as a bitmap TIFF. Let me show you how that's done. I'm not going to save that. So. Um, I'll do image mode and then choose grayscale because bitmaps grayed out at this point. So image mode grayscale and then I'll discard the color and then I'll go image mode bitmap and now it's available since I'm in grayscale. Um, and then I'm, it asks me to change it to a bitmap and I'm going to choose 50% threshold and click OK. And then I'm going to save this as a um, TIFF. And so I'm going to call it NF TIFF. I'll put it in my logo folder so I can find that real quick. And um, yeah, so now if I go into Illustrator, make a new file in here, and I'll just make another screen capture of this. I probably should have saved it previously, but I didn't. That's okay. Um, paste it in. So let's say even if I have some, you know, some uh, whatever. I mean, this is just an image pasted in. But if I go, you know, make some type of uh, just to show you that it's done in um, I'm going to change this to multiply, yeah. and then we can change this opacity down to whatever we want. Okay, so now here I have um, a photo. I've dropped it in Illustrator. I've colored this and I'm ready to place in a, an image in here. Why did I put that bar in there? Because if it was a photo, why didn't I just keep it in Photoshop? There must be some reason why I brought it into Illustrator. So I just wanted to make that point. Um, so I'm going to place that logo and here's the TIFF. Place it and you can see it's loaded into my cursor place it and then when I go into um, my either my color or my swatches it will um, change color and other files won't do that um, I can go into um, uh, this color picker as well okay so anyway we want to keep those logos the same across the board good all right 
so off we are going back into um, back into um, Chrome. but that's not my window. Here we are. Okay. So fine, great to draw it, but that's that's what you got to do. This is a good one. It looks nice, great color family. You've got super dark, super, we got light and some medium, so fantastic. Um, this looks good too. Uh, I really do, I mean, these, these actually relate decently. Um, I'm not sure about this minion variable. I might keep it a aerial or something so it matches these a little better. I feel like this is kind of diverting from where we were going. Um, logo, display, they're pretty close together. I, I'll, I will mention this. Don't put um, two different... I mean, okay, so you have to be very careful when you put two scripts together. They could really clash, so be careful that you're picking the right um, the right two scripts if you're going to put them together. This is going to be the logo, so it's going to be used however. Um, anyway, I may not suggest using that script. That's just me. Okay, so this one here we're looking at um, a possible gig poster, and let me just do a critique on it. I think it looks really nice. What we're missing is um, the location, the place, and how to get tickets. Uh, other than that, I think it's pretty darn decent. Um, so, and then this, here we got our colors. Did we use those colors up here? Well, the yellow isn't there. Um, am I terribly concerned about that? No, because we got that purple and this blue. So I think that, I think, um, I mean, if there were a secondary group of colors, we'd see the yellow in there. This is some good exploration on the logo. Okay, and here's some coaster ideas. One thing that I really want you to keep in mind is we're trying to go back to your brainstorm and combine um, your lists and make them, I mean, I, I'm not totally sure which two parts, which, which two ideas are being combined here, okay? Um, Maybe it'll come up, become apparent in other things, but just separating elements out isn't the right because it's we really still want to see that combination. And just seeing the goat head or just the star or just the S is not enough. We need to see those together. Just just so you're aware for a good grade, that's that's going to be the clincher. Okay, final logo. Okay, yeah, very nice, very nice colors. Good. Um, and. Final logo is number seven. Okay. Display type is number 10. All right. And you're using Myriad Pro for your body. Very colorful, very primary. No problem with that. Just uh, want to make sure that you're. So here's the thing red, I mean, it's a, I mean, I think you're choosing colors based on what, you know, this stuff. But red can also mean passionate and love. And navy can also mean clean and. Um, exact. Uh, gray can mean uh, sadness or depression, and yellow can not only mean cautious, but happiness. So you have to be careful of those colors because it could turn on you. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so that's our logo, display type. All right, and really lovely colors there. Um, yeah, cool. So th what I like about this one um, is that this is very much a uh, has the domination of these three. So it's really um, it's the one you look at, right? It's it's the one that's going to get the attention, and that's what you want from a logo. Display type should be semi attention, and body type should be almost zero attention, directing it away from it. It's there if you need the information, but we should be looking at the logo. Okay, nice. Um, okay, a lot of good exploration here. Somehow I'm not seeing the rest of it, so I'm going to download it and try opening it. And I just don't see... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I knew it was in there somewhere.
Okay, so we got Sid Barrett for the logo. Uh, I'm not sure which one you're going for. Um, composition. Oh yeah, that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, if this is a yeah, so we need so, and then the other uh, the uh, the other information is going to be um, visible with uh, the this uh, body type, right? Okay, good, good, good. Please watch out. These please make your permissions. I can't do anything without permissions. I can't see it. I can't give a grade on it. Um, yeah, this is good. This is good, and I'm looking for kind of angst and. So I might go just a little more uh, organic on these colors. I don't know. I, I think I think it's fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Um, okay, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Final logo. Your display type. Uh, okay, and then Helvetica. Okay, all right. Um, I would try to get something in there a little bit darker and definitely a little bit lighter. <clears throat> For all logo, for all of these identities, you can use black and white in there without any issue at all. Just so you're aware. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, oh, okay. So we're seeing a lot of exploration here. I'm not sure which one you're going for, um, but that's that's a lot of good good work. Uh, so tell me which one you would like to go with. I think all of them look pretty pretty darn good. Um, Okay, let's see what's going on here. So, but a lot of logo fonts. Oh, final logos right here. Okay, yeah, this is nice because we we get the colors, but you can you've said um, you're using them from brightest hue to to the to the most uh, colors with shadow in them. Here's my problem with this right here right now. It's um, it is outlined. Um, it's outlined, and I can't read it. I don't think anyone can read it unless you know what it is. It looks like big time something. So get rid of the outline, um, or make the outline very thin because it's just hard to read. This one I wouldn't go for the big outline on this either, nor on this. I would just color it. Uh, actually, just deal with it black and white and you can color it later on um, and I don't love this for the oh final logo ABC I th what we're looking for is the final logo display type and body type so I do not see the types of, oh wait wait there's a lot more in here I guess okay I guess I should be scrolling down and look hmm? Um, okay, so we do want some, I mean, there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, it would be nice for me to know what your final logo is. Final, final, because I have final A, B, C, D, but what's your final, final? And then what's your final, final display type? And what's your final, final body copy type? Body type. Um, yeah, okay, that works, that works good. And Blake Shelton, yeah, that's kind of cowboyish, really. It definitely has that definite flavor of cowboy. Yeah, cool. All right, good. Um, thanks, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions.